The leaders behind Toronto's first data-driven smart city are under fire tonight after yet another resignation. This time, a member of Waterfront Toronto's digital advisory panel quit and wrote a strongly worded letter on her way out, sharing her deep concerns about privacy and data control. The letter written by tech entrepreneur Sadia Muzaffar blasts Waterfront Toronto for not taking critical concerns seriously. Muzaffar writes, Waterfront Toronto's apathy and utter lack of leadership regarding shaky public trust and social license has been astounding. And my gravest concern is that while the panel is showing up in good faith, I have yet to see evidence that Waterfront Toronto shares the urgency and concern that has been raised in multiple fora. She details concerns about data control and privacy, two issues that have recently put the project in the centre of controversy. For instance, she says leadership has yet to comment on recent reports that Sidewalk Labs is asking potential local consultants to hand over any intellectual property that's developed to the company that oversees Sidewalk Labs. She calls this a slap in the face of Waterfront Toronto's goal of encouraging local innovation. Tech and privacy advocates say Muzaffar's resignation is a huge loss. When you think about smart cities and living in a, a data-driven city, which is really another way of saying a city that's built on surveillance. Yeah. Surveillance doesn't have to be a negative thing, but it certainly can be a negative thing. And so there's no way that we should be walking into this blindly. And there's no way that public bodies that are supposed to be protecting Torontonians' interests shouldn't be taking that deeply seriously. Muzaffar is not the first person to resign recently. First, it was Waterfront Toronto CEO, and then it was a prominent real estate developer who said that Canadian values weren't being protected. Now, critics say the core issue of all of this is that the public can't really evaluate what's going on with this project because of a lack of transparency. We're not getting a lot of detail. We're not getting the full story. The public consultations have been shiny and pretty. Um, but they haven't really been a chance for people to engage deeply with critical issues. Mm -hmm. And it seems like there's been a bit of reluctance, in fact, to engage around data and privacy issues. Speaking directly to Muzaffar's resignation from the Digital Advisory Panel, Waterfront Toronto's acting CEO wrote in part that the panel is in its early days and now is the time to get it right. And we are unwavering in our commitment to serving the public interest and looking forward to receiving the advice of the panel. Sidewalk Labs also writes to us in a statement that the panel is independent from us and the resignation of a long-standing critic of the project is not a surprise, but we take seriously questions about data and expect in the months ahead to present and consult with the public on a comprehensive plan for data collection, use and governance. And that is exactly what the digital advisory panel that was created in April is for, to help guide how best to incorporate new technologies in an ethical way in this new city.